What day would it be? Uh, 119, I think. I tell you what, I don't care what number you give it, it's bloody awful. We're back down in Melbourne and I've come down to this little uh, shed I've got and I've got a couple of old cars in here. So let's go and see if they've withstood the distance. So, so come in here. Come in here. Left the, uh, this is a uh, this is a Mustang, an old Mustang. Goes well. Um, now let's just see how this has gone. So it's been on, been on battery charge. I think it has. I left someone in charge of this. So let's just see if I can start it. Oh, yeah. Happy days. Well done. It's a left-hand drive, 67 convertible Mustang. Here we go. Ready. Ready. <laughs> can you hear that running? <laughs> no, I can hear Push the other Of course you can't, because it's as dead as it... So, that's one that's down. One down. One down. Let's go up here. I managed to get this started. This is an E-Type Jaguar. This is a 1966 E-Type. This is actually running, you can hear that, but here's the pride of the fleet up here. Come up here. Uh, it's in its pyjamas. This this is a 1959 Cadillac convertible of a, a, a Fleetwood, it's called. Let's see if we can start that. The old thing. This is 20 feet of ugliness. <laughs> so ugly Let's see how we go with this. Welcome back home. Welcome back home. Here's the keys here. You ready? Is that starting? Can you hear it? No. That's not starting either. Oh, so there's two down. Two down. We've got one going. Now, I can't show you this car over here. Come over here. Let's see if this one starts. I can't show you this one really because, uh, you know, if this gets out that I've got one of these, you wait till the bills, I get some bills up on the marina, they'll go up exponentially because I think, shit, he's got one of them. The bank owned this, so let me see if I can get this started. Don't look, I'm getting the keys, they're a hidden place. Got the keys. Here we go. Let's see if this little sucker starts. If this doesn't start, uh, this is this is a catastrophe. Because you've got to put this on a, a flatbed truck, take it to the dealer. So here we go. Let's get that in there. Please here. There's the jet pilot starter. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> it worked. Oh, Did you hear that? I can hear it. Take it around the pipes. Make sure that people know it's going. Hang on. It's going. Well, two out of three ain't bad as they say, so there's a week's work getting these things to run. <laughs> so that's just the beauty of uh, now. We're buttoning off and I'm going back. Uh, we, we just miss the water and we miss uh, anything to do with boating. So we'll be back to show you what we're doing next. Well, look. There seemed to be something missing in our life since we've been back at Melbourne and I said to Suzanne, what day is it? Uh, 119 It's a or shocking day, whatever it is. I said, why don't we go down to Whitworth's? They deal in marine and leisure wear and stuff. So We can feel at home. <laughs> well, so I said, let's go in and see if we don't want anything. Let's just go in and see if we need anything in at Whitworth's. Right, so here we go. Look, come on, come with me. Rob's Passage, we saw that up in Airlie, cruising the New South Wales coast. And look, we don't even need this book, but it's about boating. We thought, shit, if ever we go to Tasmania, or... and look how exciting. <laughs> the day's got better. What day is it? Shocking <laughs> day, doesn't matter what day it is. <laughs> so there we are. Oh. Yeah, I, I, I feel energised. Did, did, did they have any brass knobs? Now we're back in the city, 
We're heading down to a seaside resort where Suzanne's got a holiday house and there's a man beside us who uh, wants to drag us off. Here he goes, look, look, look. He's going to cut in, watch. <laughs> and he's got a turbocharger on a pissy little Ford. Um, Fords are very nice cars, but this is a six-cylinder Ford and he wants to race us in the wet weather. The mentality, that's, that's a graffiti artist. Now the mentality of graffiti artists and people who do that is frightening. Doesn't happen back up in far north Queensland, not where. Look, he's going to cut in. Now he's going to have a look at the car. And he's going to uh, see if he'll spin the wheels in the wet. That'll give him a thrill. Well, my senses have been aroused as we get to a little coastal town down outside of Melbourne called, uh, I think it's called Mount Mar What day is it? <laughs> <laughs> a terrible day. Uh, Mount Martha. We, uh, see, I knew I could smell the ocean. There it is. I've uh, got it in my nostrils, having come down from MF, FNQ, uh, where we've been up at Ely Beach. And uh, different coloured water, different uh, sheen, but I can smell it. And uh, different aroma, but nice. And we're going up now to have a look at uh, Suzanne's... Um, going to have a look at a real view. Uh, it'll give us an idea of when you sit on the front of the boat going out through the Whit Sunday Passage, going out to all the... This will be just as good. It's as good as we've got down here anyhow. And it'll be... Uh, there's the village. Little, uh, this is the hoi polloi come down here. Mm -hmm. Those with the... Uh, those well oiled with old money and new money who've been on to the... Uh, you know, the dot com uh, or, sec pay. Or just poor people like me. Just watch this roundabout. Watch it? <laughs> what do you mean, watch it? <laughs> Just be careful, drive safe. Eyes on the road. Uh, no, no one will be coming from the right because that's the ocean. <laughs> uh, who would be doing to you? Anyhow, we go. There's the ocean, look. And uh, poor people like you. I'll show you what poor people like you. I'll show you the house that you command down here. But we'll button off and uh, I'll just concentrate because you said, is there another roundabout coming up? No. no. Oh, well, I don't have to concentrate there. Uh -huh. Got to keep under the speed limit. That's something we don't have to worry about on the boat. Well, we've arrived at the Stanley Summer Residence. This is uh, the manor she uh, occupies uh, in the summer of uh, Melbourne. Whenever it rises for the four weeks of the year that summer arrives, so she spears down here. And uh, there it is there. You can see it. But you wait till... Uh, there's a lot of houses on the cliff here, but this is one of the monumental views and uh, outlooks. And I'll tell you some interesting points about it uh, when we get down there. So we've arrived. Uh, it's, uh, what day is it? Uh, it's freezing. It is so cold, it's extraordinary. Anyhow, um, Here. <laughs> that's it. What did you do? Come on, come with me. This is, what do you call that show? Listing houses in America, what is it? Uh, selling houses in New York. Selling houses New York. This is going out on the website. Now, this is, come out here. This is as good as we get in Melbourne, Australia. This is the Port Phillip Bay here. You can see it. Um, uh, yachts scud across the bay. That's the term, scud. Uh, on this silvery water here. And I want you to just show, I want to show you something for this reason. Uh, you can see that boat coming in. Now, if you follow my hand out there, you, if, you, if you magnify that in there a bit, you'll see a couple of hillocks right over there. That is the entrance to Port Phillip Bay. That's known as the Rip or the Heads. That's when we took our boat from Melbourne, which you can't see because it's overcast. It's overcast every day of the year down here. Uh, if you, uh, we took our boat down here and we went through the heads and we turned left and the rest is history. We ended up a month later up in Airly Beach and uh, we're going to do that in reverse in a couple of weeks. We're going to bring it back and we'll eventually come through that gap there and uh, if the boat is still intact or half it's working, we'll end up back in yeah, Melbourne, Australia. So this is uh, the Stanley residence here and have a look on a good day, seriously, this is a magnificent view. No better, can't be built out. Sounds like I'm trying to sell it, I'm not. Why don't you sell it and buy a bigger boat? Well, make, make me an offer and then I can go yeah. up, live up in Queensland. How's that? Yeah, and I'll live here. <laughs> uh, all right, well, so that's it. So that's how we're filling in the day. And I, can, I can't tell you how cold it is, but it is seriously cold. If I was a woman, my nips would be sticking out, they'd be as hard as Chinese arithmetic.